Today, Mathletes, we learn about fractions. Are you still recording? I have to give this back to my mom. What is up, Mathletes? So today, we're going to talk about the F word. Yep, that's right. We're going to talk about fractions, all right? And this is a topic that not too many people like. So what I tell people is just learn it well, wow, learn it good the first time, and then you won't have to worry about fractions again, all right? So let's start off by, you know what I want to do? I want to first talk about how to multiply fractions, or maybe remind you, because these are a little easier. And this is where the problem starts, all right? Because multiplying fractions, when people are taught, they're like, oh, it's not so bad. And I agree, because when you multiply fractions, look what we do. We multiply the numerator times the numerator, right? The number on top times the number on top. And I'll do that in yellow here. And then we multiply the number on bottom times the number on bottom. Oops, didn't want to do that. Let me get a new highlighter. The number on bottom times the number on bottom, all right? So we get 15, right? Three times five. So let me recap that real fast. We did two times four, gave us that eight. And then three times five gave us that 15. So when we're multiplying, it's really nice, but it's a little too nice that it starts to encourage bad habits and confusion, all right? So this is how we multiply. This is how we multiply fractions, all right? And now let's talk about the big hitter. See ya! The one that gives people problems is how to add and subtract fractions, all right? So step number one, biggest step in the world. Make sure you hit like and subscribe and help a buddy out, right? Help us out over here, Dr. Math. So uh, let's go ahead and let's talk about something we all know. So let's say you take a half and then you add another half to it, right? So you take one half and you add the other half to it. So we know if we put it together, right, it better equal one, a complete one of whatever you, you took half of, right? But here's the problem, what people do all the time, I see it everywhere, right? I see it at Walmart, I see it at Target, I see it at the gym. What people do is they take that number on top and they add it to the number on top. So they get two. And then they take the number on the bottom, the denominator, and they add it to the other denominator. And they get four. And so they end up with one half plus one half equals two fourths. But look at that. When you simplify this, right? When you reduce this, two half, a two fourths, that's the same thing as one half. E that can't be right, right? That can't be right. That doesn't make sense. And you're absolutely right. So today what we're gonna learn is we're gonna focus on a nice trick that helps us out because we have something called the order of operations. And in math, all that does is it tells us what you need to do first, what you need to look for next. It's just an order so all of us do the same sequence in terms of math, okay? So if you're interested, uh, click down below and I have a video to help you out with the order of operations. All right, so let's continue this madness. Let me get a new page for you math leads. So here's what the trick says, all right? And let's do an example here. Let's say you have two thirds and you wanna add one third to this. Well, what's nice and what your goal is, right? Remember what your goal is since you were three years old. Tell me what you wanted to be. I wanted to be a magician. Yeah, so our goal is here, let me highlight this is we want to get these denominators to be the same. So when you're adding and subtracting fractions, that number in the bottom, it has to be the same, right? Even on Sunday, right? So it has to be the same because once it is the same, we have a nice trick. And what it says is that number on the bottom stays the same, right? It's beautiful the way it is. And what we do with the numbers on top is now we can go ahead and add them. But you could only do that when? 
good. If you heard to that creepy person behind you, they said only when the denominator is the same. So now we could add the two plus the one, which gives us the three. And of course, three divided by three is one. So again, we could only add fractions when those denominators are the same. Multiplying and dividing, that's a whole different story. But today we're talking about adding and subtracting. Let's look at subtracting. Let's go with seven over five minus three over five. All right, so the first thing you check for, and I don't care what level you're at, right? You're always, when you have fractions, you always make sure that these denominators are the same. If they're not, get your money back. So here, since the denominators are the same, then we know that denominator stays the same. It stays a five. And all we do is we go ahead and subtract, right? The first numerator minus the second numerator. And we end up with four. So we end up with four fifths for this problem, all right? So the big question you might be asking, the big question you might be asking is, 2,000 years later. I was kind of waiting for you because I don't know what your questions are. All right, let's do another example. I know what your question is. What happens when these denominators are not the same? That's the big question. What happens when these denominators aren't the same? So what you have to do is what I tell my mathletes all across the world is always pay attention to the little details. So let's make a note, right? And then what I want you to write is note, these denominators are not the same. So our first goal, your first business is to go ahead and make them the same. So that's our thinking. And there's lots of ways of doing this, right? Your thinking is, well, how do I get this number and this number to be the same? Well, you, you think, what can I turn the five into? What? And what can I turn the two into? But those two numbers better be the same. And there's lots of ways of doing this. All right, so let's go ahead and let's do an example. And let's use some different numbers here. Uh, let's put that one half first. And let's put that two fifths second. And so this is one way of doing this. So right now, we notice that these denominators are not the same. But remember your goal, right? Our goal is to make them the same. So what I notice is we can make both of these 10. And that's great. If you notice that, if you're pretty good at multiplication, man, that's really gonna help you out. And here's my biggest piece of advice to you or you watching. If you need help on multiplication, that's what you have to practice. That's gonna make fractions 10 times easier. It's like if you were playing Fortnite, what's gonna make you better at Fortnite? Practicing. It's never over. So in math, what other people do is they make sure they learn how to multiply first because that makes life easier. So here, what we're gonna do, one of my cheat codes is I ask myself, two times what equals 10? Well, I'm gonna multiply this by five. And whatever you do to the bottom, you do to the top. So I'm also gonna multiply the top by five. And let's do this other one. This five, what do I multiply this five on the bottom by to give me 10? Good, you multiply by two. And whatever you do to the bottom, you do to the top. All right, so let's go ahead and let's see what this equals. So equals, so just so you know where everything's going, this one I'll write in blue and this one I'll write in green, because I like green. All right, so let's go ahead and multiply. So we got one times five, that gives us five, and on the denominator, now we have two times five, which is 10. So now you have the 10 downstairs. For the next fraction, you have two times two. And we said we're gonna write that in green. So that's four, right? My fancy four there. And then on the bottom, we have a five times two, which we said is 10. And now look, now those denominators are the same. So because they're the same, now we can work with what's on top. So on top, look what it tells us to do. We have five minus four. 
So five minus four is one. And what do we say on top? We just are the bottom, the denominator. We keep it the same. So it has to stay the same. So bam, it stays the same. And there's our answer. So this, my friends, is how we're gonna work with adding and subtracting denominators. Our big goal is to make sure these denominators are the same. And I'm curious, if you need help with figuring out a faster way of getting those denominators the same, comment down below. Let me know what type of video that you want. And most important, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time, athletes. Adios.